On July 11, 2018 Meghan stepped out in Dublin alongside Prince Harry and met with President Michael Higgins and his wife Sabina Coyne. For this occasion, she opted to wear the Roland Murray Grey Clover dress. According to Meghan's fashion, this number cost $2,085, around £1,649. However, despite it being a very expensive dress, the personal stylist believes it was a fashion fail. Melissa stated that while the dress shape did suit Meghan, one feature was not quite right. She commented on the fact you can slightly see Meghan's bra shape through her dress. Indeed, she stated, the visible bra is horrible. Strapless bras are the work of the devil. According to Melissa, the undergarment was not quite a perfect fit for Meghan. She said, this one appears to be too tight across the top of the chest. The expert offered a style tip for bra wearers, unless you are wearing underwear as outerwear, it should remain invisible. I honestly don't understand how you get to that point of wealth and public recognition without literally seeking out an expert to teach you about properly constructed undergarments. My theory is that she's busy wearing expensive, fancy, beautiful lingerie under these outfits, the sort that one buys for the bedroom, from agent provocateur or whatever, and that no one has explained to her that when you're a public figure, what you need is probably very plain, very solid, well-constructed foundation garments that slim and smooth and basically hold everything in place. They are usually very boring and ugly, also very expensive, if they are properly made, and brilliant works of boning and architecture. Which is why, aside from actually being fit, people like Kate, Camilla, and most hairless celebrities, never have a bulge or a lump even under off-the-rack clothing. They understand that the undergarments don't have to be pretty, they have to be functional. She struts around cleatly thinking she's hot shit in all of this. What is wrong with her? This is pathological behavior to look this bad with all the money she's spent on this clothing and all the resources she had access to. Dressing appropriately is her easiest and only professional expectation and she won't do it. I genuinely believe she bullied or pissed off her stylists. Stylists probably quit years ago, given her propensity for bullying incessant, ridiculous demands. No way she would be let out looking like all those examples if they wanted the best for her. No doubt word got out that the major designer's fashion house's 86 any visits calls from her, given her knack for not returning items or if on the off chance an outfit was returned, it was either full of food perspiration stains or flat out dirty. I don't understand why Dior maintains a relationship with them. They are a toxic brand and Dior is iconic. Someone in their marketing department needs a talking to. It doesn't really. Dior is made for willowy size zero models and only really looks good on people who fit that description. The rest of us normies know better than to spend cash on Dior outside of handbags. Madam's failure with Dior is that she refuses to accept it and keeps trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. There's no shame in saying this clothing wasn't made for me. She'd have been better off finding lesser known British designers to work with her on exactly the right colors and shapes for her, while being thrilled at the opportunity. But nope. She just had to demand the most expensive luxury stuff she could, while making Charles pay, and not looking good in it. Melissa Lund is a personal stylist, personal shopper and image coach. She previously spoke to Express.co.uk about why Meghan's clothes don't always look as good as they could.